Hello everyone. Here's a physics problem. Uh, I don't know if you need help with that, but I'll try my best to help here. There's a block sliding on the frictionless ramp. There's just no friction. And there's a point you have to think if there's no friction, what will happen to that? Uh, it's on incline and then it count it counters a, a ramp that's inclined up at uh, 45 degrees. And they are basically asking for an expression for the horizontal range, which is x this one, right? So, pen is just red. So basically, you have to think about the problem, like first, what's happening at this point? What's happening to the the block as it is started to slide down? So we will notice that there is potential energy. At this point, which is we're gonna call it initial because this the first thing happens to the system, right? Okay. So that means if there is a potential energy and the plug was at rest at first at first, then that means the plug doesn't have any kinetic energy at, at first. So kinetic energy initial is equal to zero. This has some value. So as the plug slides down, it will gain potential. Uh, it will gain a kinetic energy from the potential energy, which is like uh, converting. And here is like beauty between like potential and kinetic, which is like under not, under like the total conservation of energy theorem. So just if you don't know, you have to just look it up, and you will understand why we we are having like potential is converting to kinetic, and then so on and so forth. So the plug is sliding come to this point, at this point, up to this point, and then at this point, what will happen to the block is when it's going like a free fall, like a projection. It's not free fall, but it's a projection, okay, horizontal. And there will be a velocity, which we'll call it an initial, since like in the initial velocity that makes the, the block to fly. So as you can see here, there is still height. The drum is still on height, which is H2, as you see here. Oh, so, so. There's H. so there is height. As there is height, that means immediately you have to think of it this way. There is potential energy. Because you have the plug that has weight and it's on like, kind of like up. It's not on the ground. Because we are assuming the ground has zero potential, always. Okay, so as we know, there is there will be a potential energy was gonna be final at this point, or at this point they're saying there will be kinetic energy, which is gonna call it final. So as you know from like. The, the law of non the law of uh, energy uh, the conservation of energy which is e the total energy is equal to change in potential plus change in kinetic energy so as we know that there is no non conservative force non conservative force is like friction there is nothing there is it doesn't change the potential it doesn't lose uh, cause you to lose an energy or a certain amount of energy, like what uh, what friction does for an object if, if there is friction. So for that, so that means this will equal to zero. So as you just see, that mean if they are equal, if they are equal to zero, that means they are equal. It should be equal because we are converting from potential to kinetic and then potential. So you will see what happens why we are completely potential and kinetic and then potential. So the other one will be negative. So we will have delta u is equal to delta k. Well, you know potential energy is mgh, right? So at this point, which is all right down here, final minus potential initial equal to kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. This one is equal to zero, and we have we just open the bracket. You'll have u final plus u 
in nature is equal to k final. I'll continue here. So just substitute what u r, which is h1 with your initial there, plus m g h2 is equal to 1 half m v square. Okay, so just take out the common factor, you will have h. Okay, so I just, this should be 2, and it should be 1, since we have in the final. So you will have it this way. Okay. M are common, both sides cancel. So V square multiplied to other side is equal. You will have 2G H1 minus H2. But they are asking for the horizontal range. So what can you do now? Basically, we already know this equation that gives me uh, that gives me the horizontal range X which is this one you can look it up also so I can I don't have that time much time to so is it two here I don't think so yeah I don't think it is two so the sign two theta okay there is no two here so is it Okay, so we already know what is the velocity at that point, which is the initial velocity as we consider. So just as easy as it is, just plug them here. You have 2g h1 minus h2 over g. Cancel this. So you maybe wonder why we are ignoring sine theta. After sine theta is sine to theta, we know theta is equal to 45 from here. 45 times 2 is 90. 90 sine of 90 is 1. So it doesn't really matter for that. So cancel this gene. We got the answer which is in terms of H1 and H2. Here you go. Sorry. So here's the answer. Thank you much. Hope it helps.